What's up? So this is a question that's been getting asked of me a lot. So I figure why not make a video about it? So here we go. All right, so as a person that travels a lot with RC cars, I get this question quite often, is how do you take lithium batteries with you on the plane? Quick disclaimer. Uh, this is not the be all end all answer for how to take lithium polymer batteries on the plane. Please do your own research and see what your airline requires and make sure your batteries are safe for the flight. Uh, always have them in storage mode, stuff like that. So just do your own research. This is only what I do and uh, the way that I travel with batteries. So first off, to make sure your batteries don't short, they want the terminals covered. So if you have four mil bullet ones, put black tape over it. Uh, with the ones I have with like Dean's leads or Traxxas leads, I usually just put the battery inside of a Ziploc. No matter what, I always put the battery inside of a Ziploc. And then I'll put both batteries, because I try to not travel with more than two, put the both batteries in separate Ziplocs inside of a LiPo bag. There's a watt hour equation that's used to see what watt hour your batteries have. And that equation is milliamp hour times voltage divided by 1000 and that will give you your watt hour rating for that battery. So what I do when I travel is I will use that equation on the batteries that I have. So say that I'm traveling with 2S batteries and they're 4200 milliamps. So 4200 milliamps times 7.4 because the battery is 7.4 volt because it's 2S divided by 1000 and that gives you 31 point zero eight I believe and then I will take that whole equation and write it on the Ziploc bag so they can see that I've done the math there boom it's there then I will do that on both batteries so like if one battery I'm traveling with is a different milliamp uh, I do that one as well but I always try to do it on both and then again those individual Ziploc bags with batteries in them will go inside the lipo bag close it up and you have to carry it on with you. You cannot check it, it cannot go under the plane, it has to be with you all the time. So I also travel with the drone quite a lot. So I'll have the drone and it's separate thing and that's a whole nother thing. Um, but anyway, so I'll have that and then I'll have a LiPo bag with my LiPos in it. As I come up to security, and speaking of security, make sure you're ready. Nothing drives me crazier than someone sitting there taking their belt off and pulling wallets out and watches off and all this stuff making you wait. So be ready when you get the security line, anyway. So when I get up there, I have the lipo bag in one hand and anything else that I need to show them. And as I'm putting stuff on the conveyor, I get the attention of whoever's there. And I say, hey, I have lithium batteries in here. And, he, and they may want you to do them separate or whatever. You bring attention to the batteries that you're carrying and then it's gonna go a lot smoother for you if they don't just see them fly through there. Like, wait, that's lithium batteries. Um, so a lot of times I'll say, hey, this is, I got lithium batteries. They'll take them, put them in a tray by themselves or with some of my other stuff. And they'll tell the person running the x-ray, hey, these are lithium batteries, boom, send them through. And nine times out of 10, I've had no issues at all. So that's the way I do it. So bottom line is just be prepared. Have them in the lipo bag, ready to be looked at by them. Have the equation written on the bag so they know uh, that you've done some research and that you've, it seems like you've traveled with them before and uh, it should go smooth. And again, make sure you look up your airline to see what they require. Some of the watt hour ratings are different uh, airline to airline. So please make sure, go online, find out what they use for lithium batteries for the, their watt hour rating. I just usually take two to be safe. And it's just, if something happens and you have to leave your batteries behind, uh, something happens to security, you get that one guy that don't understand, and he confiscates them, you don't want him to confiscate a whole bunch of them. So one or two, you can live without it and just, you learn for next time. But anyway, that's it. If you got any questions or comments, please post them below. Um, I'm happy to help you out. But again, I'm not telling you this is 100% the correct way. This is the way that I do it, and it works for me. So make sure you do your own research, and uh, I'm not accountable for anything that you may or may not do wrong or right. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I appreciate y'all stopping by, and if we don't see you on the track, we'll see you on the trail. Later.